The rules of construction say you can only have two tools at your disposal. The first is a compass, and I know what you're probably thinking at home, that does not look anything like my compass, Mr. McCall, but it basically accomplishes the same thing. I can control the radius just by shifting the marker part. And the second piece is a straight edge. Again, a straight edge means that you have no markings on your straight edge. Now mine, it does have markings, so I guess we'd call it a ruler, but in traditional Greek construction, we wouldn't be able to have any markings on here. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to duplicate a line segment. If I looked at this line segment AB and I wanted to create a congruent line segment, the first step is to take my straight edge and I'm going to draw a ray onto which I can construct my new line segment. So here we have a ray. I'm going to name my endpoint C since I already have A and B. And when you duplicate a line segment, all you're really doing is measuring it with your compass. So you're going to take your sharp end of your compass, or the rubber end for me, and you're going to put it on the end point A. And then you're going to stretch your compass until it measures exactly the distance of your line segment. And the way that you verify that is by making a little mark on the end of your line segment. So I'm going to mark right there on B. Now on your quiz, do not erase that mark. That's what your teacher is going to look for to make sure you're doing it correctly. So then you're going to take, without changing your compass, the sharp end onto point C, and you're going to create that same mark. So basically, by keeping this rigid, we measured AB, and we just duplicated it down on the bottom. And you can label this point D. So that's the essence of duplicating congruent line segments.